Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 105FH18B2, the French tier 5 premium SVG that we know and love as Fifi La Pew Pew. You might know as a Lepi, a Leaf Blower, or a La Heppa. This one is on the North Spawn of Abbey under the command of Not Sober. Well, we've featured Not Sober before, and you can see he's got three marks of excellence on the barrel of his 105 mm light field howitzer. That's where you get the Le FH. That's for Leica, which is right, and Feldhabitzer, which is the FH, means field artillery. Okay, he's ready to go, and he's aiming towards the enemy already. Okay, we've got an M5 Stuart down there. Styling in, round south. Well, the first shot's not a direct hit, but you can now see the outline of the enemy M5. He fires another one in, and this time round, he does hit the target. Okay, he's looking at a Type 74. Just lands in front of him, but it does do some damage. He's now going to lob another one in. Rounds out. That one missed, but it was in the ballpark. Let's try to get another one. He's just having a quick look at the bushes up here because he thinks there might be an enemy tank hiding behind that fence. But he suddenly gets distracted by the enemy tanks they are making their way up the river road. The first shot is not so great. And he's looking around for another one. Found an M881. And he's gone. First kill of the game. Now it's a 105mm light field howitzer capable of 410 alpha. 53 millimeters pen and 1.91 meters on the burst radius. The enemy team's got a bishop and a PP. And I think we saw the bishop is actually on the river road. So I saw a tracer coming out from the road and we can see another tracer coming from the back. There's the nearer tracer. He fires around and narrowly misses the M10, but he does get 50 hit points of damage. So it does appear that the enemy RT is on the river road at the moment. Okay, he's dialing in, fighting his aim on the KV-220. Now that's the KV-222, which of course is a tier 7 hull, but it's only got a tier 5 turret. Rounds up. That's a direct hit. Now he can take this guy down because the 105mm can do damage to a tier 7. But you can see the KV-220 is just driven straight past our KV-1, but he's trying to get damage on him with just the 76 mm gun, and the KV-1's able to defend himself. Now it appears that a Matilda was spotted near those um, uh, buildings right at the back near the enemy cap area, but he can now see the Type T-34 and that M5 Stewart again. He fires around at him, and he gets a hit, 179. See the Type T-34, which of course is the Chinese version, Enemy and he killed it! Destroyed. That's his second kill of the game. A direct hit that wiped him out. Fires another one in, and narrowly misses the M5. It looks like that guy's going to go down. He's a one-shot now. In fact, he might be able to get a kill with a splash hit, but he can certainly see that Matilda in the background, and he plants around on him as well. Very fast aiming, and very fast fire. 123 off the last shot. Fires another one in and he wiped him out even though he wasn't looking at the target. He did get a kill. He wants to get to this target. Oh! And a very long range shot takes out the stud guy out from B. So he's now got four kills. Okay, for the Matilda. And he's gone as well. And I think that may have been a penetrating shot because uh, he got all 274 hit points with one shell. But the enemy have now appeared at the river gate, or the uh, river road gate. His first shot is a bit of a fluff. It misses. It's reloading, and that M8 is not going anywhere anymore. And that's potentially a high caliber. He's got 20% of the vehicle. The next shell hits the M10 and wipes him out. So he's now got seven kills. The next kill will be a Radley's, and he gets it. That's a Radley's. There's only one enemy left. And it turns out it's the Bishop on the enemy team. And he was last seen on the River Road. We've got 
a tank and an M5A1 Stuart moving up that road right now. The concentration skills just come in and there is the bishop. He dials in, rounds out, gets a direct hit. He's tracked the guy. He's immobile, he can't go anywhere, rounds out. Oh, and that kill shot goes to our M41 and that finalizes the game. Well, that was a marvellous game by Not Sober in the 105 left H18B2. He got an ace tanker out of that game and he well deserved it for getting the Radleys. He managed to get a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 15. He got the Radley Waters medal for getting at least eight kills. He got eight exactly. And in fact, he got three tanks in succession with successive shots during that brief moment when they came through the River Road Gate. He also got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game and the top gun for getting at least six kills. His win eight in that game, 7,952, is super unit come standard and quite a bit more. In fact, you have to scroll the page to see all the enemy that he actually hit in that game and took out. And some of the shots were absolutely amazing shots, which he quickly dialed in and successively killed enemy vehicles. We look at team score, we can see he got the highest damage in the game with 2,398 hit points, or sorry, 2,393 hit points. Second highest damage in that game turned out to be the Leffy on the enemy team, who managed 1,119 hit points. And the third highest, well, that was the KV-1 on our team, who managed 1,065. When it came to kills, the highest number was not sober, eight kills to him. Two kills went to the KV-1 and the M41 HMC, and on the enemy team, their Fifi got two kills, and the Panzer T-25 also got two. When it came to base XP, he's got the highest in that as well, so he's got the top in all three columns. In fact, he's the only player to get over 1,000 base in that game, with 1,129. Second highest got 756, which is way down, and of course the KV-1 picked up a steel wall, and in third place, it's the M5A1 Stuart who got 660 base, and he picked up a Confederate in that game as well. He fired 25 rounds, which is exactly half of his ammunition, so he really didn't break sweat in this game. 12 direct hits, 6 penetrating shots, 11 splash. Damage of 2,393 hit points, of which 1,896 were at more than 300 meters. Of course, the close shots were kills number five, six, seven, and eight, which were all very, very close to where he was. And at the end of the game, he killed the uh, M8A1, then he killed an M10, then he killed the T34. Uh, in fact, actually, it was. It was five kills number six, seven, and eight um, were very quick in succession. He damaged 11 of the enemy, killed eight of them, and did 279 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he actually made 79,140 credits from that game, including a 30,000 mission completion bonus. And he also got 5,759 experience points as well, including a 3,388 mission completion bonus as well. So an absolute rip-roaring game to show that the Fifi still has it. This game was from the 8th of September, so it is a fairly recent game. But it just goes to show the um, amount of damage that Not Sober can do with the Fifi in a short period of time. And this was mostly tier 5 and tier, um, I think there, don't think there was any tier 6 actually, it was tier 5 tanks and below. Because the M8A1s are tier 4s, yes. So um, it was a lower tier game, but he still managed to get the ace and he still got the Radleys and he killed a huge huge number of the enemy very very well done indeed i hope you enjoyed that one i certainly did if you did please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm and thank you for watching